What is up guys, it is RSC6414 here, back with another video. This time I'm previewing and predicting the MLB wild card round for the playoffs. There's going to be two games for the wild card round. One game apiece for AL, one game apiece for NL. Two teams going at it, NL, Giants, and Pirates. Two teams going at it, the AL, Royals, and Athletics. Oakland Athletics play the Kansas City Royals tonight, actually. It's 12.54 here on the East Coast, so they play tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Time in Kansas City. Kansas City's first playoff appearance in 29 years. It's been a hell of a long time. So it's a long time come for Royals fans. Glad they at least get to have one playoff game. And who knows, maybe more depending on how well they play and if they win. Now the team that uh, has the longest streak now is 21 years and that's my team, the Toronto Blue Jays. Go figure. But uh, let's go ahead and get to the predictions. Generally I don't mix a whole lot of sports videos here but uh, I do watch lots of sports. I just don't make a whole lot of videos on it. But Let's go ahead and get the predictions. I'll uh, keep making more MLB videos. First game, Kansas City Royals versus the Oakland Athletics. Oakland, down the stretch, really crumbled. And they were leading the AL West for a while. And they've really gone downhill to the point where they almost missed the playoffs. So the fact that they're here is a guess relief, but it's not the way you want to play baseball heading down the stretch from uh, September to October but uh, the next then you got uh, Kansas City who has made the playoffs for the first time in 29 years and they're playing at home which is a good advantage you got James Shields the pitcher who used to be on the Rays been on the Royals for the past couple of years so the trade and the pickup they got from him has really been a good investment on their part John Lester is getting the start for the Oakland Athletics they picked him in the trade deadline right before it ended. They traded uh, Jonas Cespedes, one of their big hitters, to the Sox, to the Red Sox, for John Lester. So to, just to give you an idea of the records for each pitcher, you've got John Lester, 2.46 ERA, James Shields, 3.21 ERA. Um, well, Lester started 32 games. Shields has started... 34. I mean, it's you got both guys uh, who are really good. Both have experience in the playoffs. Shields with the Rays, Lester with the Sox. So this should be a good duel. The game, in my opinion, I think this game is going to extra innings. It's going to be a good game. I think it's going to be the better of the two wild card games. So don't be surprised if the game goes to extra innings. Then you've got. Uh, the uh, Oakland Athletics batting 244, Kansas City 263. Kansas City, fun fact, a uh, little stat here. They have the fewest amount of home runs in the MLB. That means they're 30th out of 30 teams. And they're making the playoffs. That's, I think MLB Network I was watching the other day, and they said that, that was the first time in years that something like that has happened so that's an interesting thing to put in there they're not as known for their power hitting I guess is more of just playing as a team the Royals same with the A's there's not a whole lot of all-stars on that team on either one of them you got good players but and it's a few guys that make the all-star team but none of them by any means are like hold any work any like Derek Jeter or anything but it should be a good uh, good game here Honestly, Oakland's had more playoff experience on the big stage. Kansas City Royal fans are where Pittsburgh was last year. They're all going to be hyped up. They're going to be cheering the Royals, making lots of noise. This game's really hard to predict. Both of them are. I think this game will go... I'm going to predict this one to go 12 innings. And I think it's going to be a... I don't think it's going to be like any 6-6 six to six or 8-7 game. I think it's going to be a decent game, but nothing special. My pick... I'm going to go with, God, it's a tough one. The Kansas City Royals have played better baseball heading in, a lot better than Oakland. But Lester's had always has good games in the postseason. So for that very reason, 
I'm going to go with the Oakland Athletics, 4-3 to three in 12 innings. So my pick, the Oakland A's, I think will advance, and they will play the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim in the divisional round. I'll be predicting each and every MLB playoffs round by round, and uh, from there we'll take it from there and see how it goes. And then the second game of the wild card, the NL National League wild card, the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the San Francisco Giants. I like the Pittsburgh Pirates because my favorite player, Andrew McCutcheon in the MLB, is on that team. So I'm a Pirates fan. I go for them. I like the Pirates. And I know I've got a Brewers pennant, and they don't like each other, but I like Andrew McCutcheon. So for that reason, I generally cheer for the Pirates. It should be a good game. That's uh, Wednesday, 8 p.m., San Francisco and Pittsburgh. You've got Edinson Volquez, 13-7. Madison Bumgarner, 18-10. 2.98 ERA for Bumgarner and uh, 3.4 for Volquez. So this should be an uh, interesting matchup here. Volquez has been on the Reds before. He's had playoff experience. Just got to the Pirates this year. Bumgarner, a lefty, has had been on the Giants for a while. A matchup to look out for, Bumgarner and Josh Harrison. Josh Harrison's batted well against Bumgarner, so look out for that. McCutcheon, he could be MVP this year depending on how he plays, so it should be a good match. I mean, a good matchup here. I think this game will be good. I don't think it'll go to extra innings. you got the Pittsburgh fans. They made the playoffs last year, made a good little run. They could do it again this year. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I really want to... Uh, the Giants are the team that always does well in September. You've, they always make that last-minute run. They snuck it out. They got in the playoffs. A few games left. The Pirates bounced back. The Brewers choked. The Pirates came in. And there's a blackout, by the way, for at PNC Park. So all the Pirates fans will be wearing black. So that's going to be interesting. So a lot of people are picking the Pir the Giants just because of how they play down the stretch and the experience they've had. They always manage to do well in the postseason in September and October when the playoffs come around. The Pirates, last year they did good. They almost beat the Cardinals in the Divisional. So you never know what's going to happen. That's the only thing I don't like about these one-game wild cards is I wish it was best of three like it used to be because... One team may not play as well, and then bam, they're done. That happened to the Braves previous years before they started doing this with the one game a couple years ago. So this should be a good game. I think McCutcheon and Josh Harrison are going to help the Pirates out a lot with their hitting, especially against Bumgarner. Even though the lefty to righty is a favorable matchup for the pitcher, uh, I mean for the hitter, so should be a good Good, uh, good playing for Harrison and McCutcheon. So I think it should be a good game. I think, honestly, the Royals and Athletics will be more intense, but this one will be interesting and entertaining to watch, and it won't be bad by any means, so watch out for it. I could see this going to extra innings, but I don't think it will. I'm going to go ahead and pick the Pittsburgh Pirates to pick up the W with the offense of McCutcheon and Harrison. So my pick, the Pittsburgh Pirates, I think they're going to take this game... 5-2-3. I think it's going to be close 3-3. Three three. Over the stretch, the Pirates pull away and win the game. So my pick, Pittsburgh Pirates will advance, and they will go on and face the... Um, they'll go on and face the Washington Nationals, and the Athletics will go on and face the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim with their victory if my picks come true. So my picks, Oakland A's, 4 to 3 in 11, Pittsburgh Pirates 5 to 3 in 9 innings as the regular length of the game. Hope you enjoyed this prediction. I'll be back with my divisional round predictions and I may recap a few games um for this playoffs, but enjoy the baseball. October's here. Hashtag #bucktober hashtag #october Everybody get ready. Postseason time, baby. Gotta love it. The fall classic. Everybody loves it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe. RSC6414 out. Deuces. Enjoy the games.